Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ray. And today we're making another classic dessert, creme brulee. Let's cook! We're gonna start by making the creme part of our creme brulee. In a small saucepan, combine 300 ml of thickened cream, 2 teaspoons of vanilla bean paste, and 4 tablespoons of sugar. Then bring it up to gentle simmer while stirring constantly. When you can see small bubbles on the sides, turn off the heat, and we can start preparing our eggs. Separate 4 egg yolks into a mixing bowl, then slowly add in the cream mixture while stirring constantly. This method is called tempering. It prevents the egg from getting overcooked and becomes scrambled. When you're sure that the eggs and cream have been fully incorporated, pour your custard mixture back into the saucepan so it's easier to pour into the ramekins. Fill the ramekins half to three quarter way up. This is the normal serving size of creme brulee. You don't usually fill it up all the way to the top, because this dessert is so intensely flavored and it is also such a rich dessert if you eat too much it's not gonna be as nice line a tray with a piece of cloth and then place all the ramekins inside then fill the tray up with hot water halfway through then pop it into a preheated oven at 130 degrees celsius for 35 minutes when it's done, take it out of the oven and let it rest until it's cool enough to handle. And now we can start the brulee part of our creme brulee. Sprinkle about a tablespoon of sugar into each ramekin, and then start burning the sugar with a blowtorch. A key to having a nice even brulee is to move your blowtorch all the time, and to let your caramel rest when it starts bubbling rapidly like that. Just be patient with your brulee and you'll get a nice even color. If you don't have a blowtorch, you can always use your oven broiler. Just set up your oven into broiler mode on highest temperature possible. And just place your sugar coated custard into the oven on highest rack for 3 to 5 minutes or until you get the caramel color that you want. Once your brulee process is done, place your creme brulee in the fridge until it's super cold. It usually takes around 1 hour. And there you have it guys, my vanilla bean creme brulee. I hope you like that simple recipe and if you do please subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and here are links to my previous videos so check it out guys links and measurements gonna be in the description box below leave a comment below let me know what you're gonna see me cook next week see you next time guys bye